Hey YouTube, I'm back. I know I done kept you waiting again, but I'm back and I've got a new review for you. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing Subway's signature wrap and uh, we're gonna be doing the Southwest Chipotle uh, steak. So stick around, we're gonna be doing this one and tell you what I think of it. Alright YouTube, so I'm back and um, I gotta let you know that um, this Subway signature wrap was a uh, request for me to do. So uh, here I've come to Subway today and I've got this um, new, It's they're fairly new, I think they've had them for a little while, but they're still fairly new, but it's the um, uh, Southwest Chipotle Steak signature wrap. And uh, I got it just like it comes and uh, I'm looking forward to doing this one. And uh, here we go in the typical subway bag that they've got um, so we'll be opening that up here in just a minute but like we do and th this will be the first uh, review that I've done on anything from subway on my channel uh, and there uh, there'll probably be more to come but we're gonna talk about this receipt now all right this thing is supposed to be a foot long now, I don't believe this is a foot long. All right, I don't think it is. Now she told me it's a foot long. Uh, I looked at it whenever it got finished, and you all are going to see it here in just a little bit. I don't think this is a foot long, but I. The price of this thing is uh, eight dollars and fifty cents. Now that's no uh, meal, no combo. That is just the wrap by itself no drink no chips no cookie just just the wrap by itself eight dollars and fifty cents before tax um six percent sales tax here in uh, atlanta georgia nine dollars and one cent after tax for one wrap that's supposed to be a foot long but you all about to see it here in just a minute this thing is not a foot long this is not so mm -hmm. um for those of you that watch my channel, you already know where I stand on this right here. This price right here is too high. It's too high, Subway. Come on. Remember when Subway had the, the I guess they probably still have it, but the $5 foot long, that was their jingle that they would have on their commercial. Um, what happened to that? Because this dollar, this this $8.50 for, for this, what I'm getting ready to show you, um, I don't know. I hadn't tasted it. This I haven't had one before today. Uh, so whenever you all see me try this on this video for the first time, this is the first time I've had one of these signature wraps from Subway. So maybe I taste this thing and I immediately say, now I know why they're charging $8.50. I hope that that's the case, but I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not going to be what happens here. So it is what it is. Here's the receipt. There's the price. You heard it. Now, let's crack this thing open. Take it out of the bag. Right? Got our napkins here. I know some of y'all seen it, and you're probably already trying to see if it looks like a foot long to you. Uh, now, I will tell you this. Here's a 20-ounce Coke bottle. All right? Same, same size while it's wrapped. But, but when I open this thing up and get the wrapping, wrapping off of it, because that paper is going to account for some of that size you just saw. All right, now, here we go. I got the spinach wrap. They also have a tomato basil wrap. I chose to go with the spinach wrap for mine. Now, here we go. Get your look. Alright, you can see that. I'm, you know I'm going to open it up so you can see the inside, but from, from the outside looking in, this is it. Alright. Alright, so there we go. Alright, there we go people that's not a foot that is not a foot long i'm telling you i don't know how it looks on camera 
but I'm telling you, this is not a foot long. All right, but anyway, enough of my complaining. Here it is. All right, it, it don't look too bad, but I'm I'm gonna also tell you, it doesn't really look too appetizing either. All right, I don't know. Maybe I went with the wrong wrap. Maybe I should have went with the tomato basil, but the spinach wrap, it doesn't look very appetizing to me. All right, so let's take it loose. You can see the inside here. All right, and take it loose. I'm gonna let you see the inside of this thing. Get a good close look there. Try to let it zoom in, get a good focus on it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. This kind of looks like tuna. And I like tuna. Don't get me wrong. But I ordered Chipotle Southwest Chipotle steak. That looks like tuna. It don't look very appetizing, but I'm going to tell you what's on this one here. I told you it comes, I got the spinach wrap instead of the uh, tomato basil. It has um, Southwest Chipotle steak. It has got a uh, Chipotle um, sauce, Southwest Chipotle sauce that they put on it. It has got Monterey cheddar and it's got guacamole. All right, that's what you're that's what you're looking at here. All right. Now I'm going to I'm going to attempt to unwrap this so that you can get a better look of what's inside. All right. Let's see. I, I'm probably going to make a mess, but I'm doing all of this for the people, for you. For you, the people. I'm going to try to get I know I'm going to make a mess. So I might as well just go ahead and let it happen. But let's see here. I'm going to try to hold it in place. This, this is what's inside. All right, that is what is inside. People, Subway. I haven't tasted this yet, but I'm going to just say, this, this, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. I hope, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that it tastes better than it looks. All right, so here we go. One last bite, and I'm about to go in. First bite, you all ready? First bite, right here. We get that thumbnail here. Y'all like that? All right, here we go, first bite. Second bite here. You all already can tell. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but three bites. I didn't need three bites. I knew after the first bite. get a little drink let's get a drink of this coca-cola here all right so again i say subway what are you doing subway what what are you doing
this price here. $8.50 for this crap right here. Um, this is crap. This is crap. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like what I just put in my mouth. I don't like what I just put in my body. This was crap. This is absolute crap. Um, I mean, seriously, this is crap. There's no way that I'm recommending this to anybody. This is trash. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a two. This is a two and I'm factoring in this price. I'm factoring in the quality of what I just ate. Um, there was nothing in that that made me want to take another bite. I'm factoring in the appearance. Every bit of that, the price, the appearance, every bit of that told me what I truly needed to know before I ever took a bite. And every bit of it was reinforced when I took my first bite. I took the second and third bite because I was trying to be fair. And that's what I do on this channel is I try to take at least three bites of this so that I can give a fair assessment. Um, so I did the same with this. I didn't want the second and third bite. This is trash right here. Subway, do better. This is horrible. Um, I can't recommend this. If, if I'll say this. You've heard me say this before on my channel. It could be this particular subway behind me here. It might be this one. Maybe, maybe not. But if you all have tried this and you've had a different experience, please put something in the comments section and let me know. And I will go tomorrow and I will try this again at a different subway and give it a better assessment if it's deserving of it. But this right here, um, I can't recommend this. I would be doing you all an injustice if I recommended this to you. This is garbage right here. This is trash. Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to recommend something like this to you. I'm sorry. YouTube foodies, you should know by now that if this is good, I would recommend it. I'd give it a good score. Uh, and you could have been able to tell by my reaction that it was good but before I ever got to the score. But this right here, uh, I'm throwing this in the trash can. And, and I just wasted, I just wasted $8.50, $9.01 after tax. That's what I paid. And I didn't get any uh drink with that i didn't get chips i didn't get a cookie that is just that wrap right there for that price subway you need to get off your high horse i'm out here getting uh top quality chicken sandwiches for three dollars and 99 cents i could get two of them for this price right here that blows this out the water every day of the week matter of fact the worst one that I've tried on this channel and done a review on would blow this out the water. Uh, come on, Subway, do better. Do better. Hey, if y'all like this video, go down to the bottom and hit like. Hit subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. And you already know, hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I put out new content. Hey, I hope everybody's doing good. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate your all support. And until next time, see you later, YouTube.